on my other video here we have my 230 gallon so this tank will set up here uh, for fry which just in case I have some I had the electric yellow that was holding for a little bit my 75 gallon but now she's not holding anymore same with my ventralises and my 37 gallon they were holding and now um, miraculously they seem to eat, the, eat their spawn so we have this on the bottom just uh, running with the sponge filter and up here on top I have my 30 gallon as well it's my Bichardi uh, colony um, right now there's 17 in there I'm trying to get some mated pairs so I can break them apart and then eventually get some spawning going on um, let's see if we can get a close up here of them they're a little jumpy and they like to go hide in these rocks we got here but uh, there's a couple that are getting beat up pretty good they're hiding up here in the corner but uh, again in this tank we have cichlid sand as well to help with the pH buffering and everything um, so it's feeding time so they think they're going to eat here shortly so they're all swimming around here and hiding in all the crevices and the rocks that I have built um, in this tank here again this one is powered as well by just a sponge filter here uh, nothing special so over here we'll do a close up of some of them these guys are pretty neat tango and can fish I like them so just hopefully we get some breeding going soon and I can figure out who my mated pairs are down the road You can see there's all different sizes right now in this tank I bought out. These were all bred by a local breeder so I bought pretty much everything they had as far as uh, fry and everything or what they were growing as fry. But obviously it's not anymore but I think I need to do some, a little bit of redecorating. There's some that are getting their fins a bit pretty good. Um, as you can see here this one's got a, half a fin missing in the back. So there's two or three of them like that I've noticed. So I probably need to add some more hiding spots a little bit more for some other ones and restrict the, the dominance a little bit. But some like to hang out back here by the tree. And I got and this got this one in the corner, he's getting picked on pretty good, so probably move him to the 30 gallon below for now just to get his fins to grow back and get him more comfortable so, so that's, that's it for my 30 right here um, so I'll post more more videos later as hopefully my fish start spawning a little bit more than what we're we're having right now so what I'm having so thank you